I think uh, one of the things that's, that's been evident is we have to relook at our training and development and how we develop our people. I think we have seen that the traditional way of education hasn't always been as successful and we need to move to a more skill-based training and more on-the-job training which, which develops people for, for the particular area that we want them to, to work in. So we've got large skill gaps that have come from people not necessarily being learning from traditional education what they need to learn for them to be successful on the job. I think this conference creates a sharing environment. So I think you know you you get to see people from different parts of the world that have the same struggles. So someone from uh, a developing country, whether in South America, Asia, or Africa, we are pretty much all dealing with the same issues. So I think conferences like this give an opportunity for us to share best practices and sort of get to find out what everyone else is doing um, to to sort of bridge that skills gap that we all have. Hilton has partnered up with the International Youth Foundation, which is a big partnership. And what we've done with that is we've developed several programs, one of the key ones being the Passport to Success. And the Passport to Success takes team members at uh, junior team members and gets them through a training on soft skills. So that would be training on soft skills that are relevant to our, um, our industry and to hospitality. So that would be sk soft skills like customer focus, customer service, um, skills like how do you handle a guest complaint, um, you know, how do you welcome a guest to the hotel. So those kind of skills that they may not have necessarily learned from formal education. And of course, in our part of the world, a lot of team members haven't received formal education at all. So um, that's, what, that's what the company is doing to sort of develop team members into a place where then we can now have a pipeline of, of, um, of skilled team members. So as a company, we've, we've, even before this partnership, we've always had great, great leadership development programs uh, which really upskill, upskill everyone. So for example, we have um, Leadership 1, 2 and 3, which are development programs that take a normal team member into a supervisory level and from a supervisory level to assistant department head and to a department head level. Um, and then we have a general manager development program 1, 2 and 3. And general, development, general manager development programs take a manager into a direct director position and then from a director position into a general manager position. Um, and we also have unique programs like our elevator program which is a general manager development one program and what that does is it takes high potential, um, high talent team members or not necessarily even team members, just uh, people of a certain of a certain age group So, and it takes them through an 18 month development program that prepares them to be a general manager in about five years. So, uh, and I've been fortunate to be, to be uh, a graduate of both those programs. So.